All right, everybody, we got good news and we got bad news. If you're not interested in any of the news, I'll leave a timestamp here so you can get right into the fishing. I'm fishing with my uncle, fishing brand new spots on the river, and we had a good time. But let's get into the news right now. So starting with the bad news first, um, you're gonna see here in the video, once we get into the fishing, that my uncle Mike's with me, Cheyenne's with me, and it's myself. Um, this is gonna be the last video you're gonna see Cheyenne in for quite a while. Unfortunately for her, a couple days after recording this video, she got in a really bad car wreck on I-70 and she sustained some pretty serious injuries. I'm not gonna get into the details of those injuries, but they were pretty substantial. Um, she's okay now, thank God, and thankfully nothing worse happened, but she's really banged up and she's not gonna be back on the video for probably about another month or two, but she is gonna be back, so don't worry you guys. I know some of you guys have grown pretty fond of her and she really enjoys the fishing, but she will be back, just needs to rest up and be on the mend. The other bad news with that, unfortunately, as you guys have seen in several of our past videos, kind of, he started popping into the videos this summer, was Cheyenne's dog, Jet. Um, awesome black German Shepherd, love that dog, and unfortunately, he passed as well in the crash. So, um, really tough times, and hopefully everybody's thoughts and prayers can go out to Cheyenne. Um, I was a big fan of that dog as well. Um, it's probably one of the saddest I've ever been of an animal passing. And yeah, it's just tough, not just losing, you know, a team member on here on the channel, but just a really awesome animal. And um, yeah, it's been tough times, so. But let's get into the good news, everybody. As some of you guys know, I coach basketball, uh, girls varsity basketball, and we won our district tournament. So we are hosting the regional tournament. There's 32 teams in this, just kind of like March Madness in college. 32, Sweet 16, Elite 8, Final Four, then the championship. And we get to host the first two rounds. So Friday and Saturday, um, we got games. First game is against Buena Vista. If we beat them, we play the winner of Ellicott and Colorado Academy. I like our chances in both games against any of the teams. We have a very strong team. So fingers crossed. Hopefully you guys can send some luck to our way because, yeah, I think we got a really strong team and some really strong chances of doing some damage here in the tournament. Non I non-biasedly believe that we're a state title team. So... Big shout out to you girls if any of you girls are watching this and again wish us some luck you guys in this tournament the other good news i have is more fishing related i can't get into the details of it now so stay tuned make sure you guys have that notification bell on because working more with brian from dynamic looters he's the owner um, we're going to be working on doing some prototype testing and launching some stuff through the channel can't get into too, too many details like i said yet but hopefully in the next couple weeks i can kind of start unraveling some details and show some share some of the really exciting news because if some of the stuff that we're working out does happen you guys are going to be super pumped about it i'm already super pumped about it and i want to share more of the details i just can't yet because i want to make sure that it's finalized and not get you guys's hopes up but there's a chance that you guys could be doing some field testing as well but we'll see but let's get into the video i blabbed enough thank you guys for listening to me talk i just want to let you guys know um, what's happening with my life fishing and non-fishing related and yeah i hope you guys enjoy the video What's going on everybody? It's all about fishing some new spots today on the river, some spots that we've never fished before on the channel, and doing that of course with my Uncle Mike. So he's out here from Minnesota visiting for the next couple weeks. Um, we're hoping to get a couple episodes done on the river, uh, maybe a couple episodes done on the ice as well. We'll see though, it depends on schedule availability for him and also schedule availability and also schedule availability for me as well as we got playoffs starting right now. Today it's all about fishing new spots on the river and hopefully we can get some fish for you guys. Brown trout, rainbows, and cupos is typically what we're getting after on this section of the river anyway. So wish us luck and hit the buttons and let's enjoy. Yeah, this does look good. Oh, wow. Uncle Mike's already on. Good one. That's still a nice one. It's pretty. My Uncle Mike here. <clears throat> nice fish. Sweet. It's gonna go. Awesome. Yeah. Is that about 16? Yeah, probably about 15, 16. The water's pretty deep. I might use the J-Spec.
That one. No, it's a brown. Oh, jeez. Oh, I got this. Oh. Do you know that your brown trout is so much prettier than mine? What is that, 16, 17, 16? Yeah, that's a pretty long guy. He's skinny, though. He's skinny. <laughs> I caught one like that the other day, but it was fat. That one's a little bit. Going. That was way down there. Yeah, I've, it's a little rainbow. I thought I had a stick for a second too. Oh. Love looking for new water to fish. We're just walking up. You probably can't see from here, but up in the middle of the river, there's a whole bunch of rocks and stuff. That's kind of where I want to go to. A lot of pockets, I would think. Did you lose it again? <laughs> I've lost two now. All right, I got an idea. I'm going to come out, go out there. Oh. Got one. No. Woo. <laughs> so nothing over in those pockets up there and this current over here that we've been hitting has been moving really fast, especially in the middle. So we've been hoping that we could get, pull some stuff out of the rocks over here on the sides, but haven't locked up in anything yet. No bites, no chases for anybody. All of us are kind of using a wide variety of different things. Current starts slowing down a little bit over here and it's still fairly deep, so. I mean, I'm sure there are some trout in these areas, but we certainly haven't been able to figure out how to get them to bite consistently. A lot of slow retrieves, a lot of jerk fishing, a lot of twitch fishing, figuring out different cadences. All right, everyone, I just hooked into one, and of course, my battery is dying. I'm about to get this thing in and then fire up my other GoPro really quick. Ooh, it's a nice brown. J Spec Fire Craw. He just popped off right at the net. It's probably about a 16 inch, 17 inch brown. All right, everybody, that was our morning of fishing. Everybody got into some fish, at least got some fish on the line. Um, we got browns, a rainbow, and a bunch of fish that got off. So, <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> yeah. Pretty slow, grindy uh, morning for the most part, but that's winter fishing for you sometimes in the rivers. Sometimes we'll get a hot bite, sometimes it'll just kind of be a slow, lethargic bite. But a snowstorm's moving in soon. We're gonna get off the river. Hopefully we can get my Uncle Mike out on another episode here soon. Might be ice, might be rivers, but again, we'll see. So hope you guys enjoyed. Hit the buttons if you did. Subscribe if you're new. And until next time, you guys, Team Cop signing out.